What's going on, everybody? On today's episode of Sonar Chef, we're going to make some hamburger helper, or as I like to call it, American helper. All right. Everybody loves hamburger helper, or American helper. If you're wondering why I'm calling it American helper, uh, it's simply because... I used to work with this girl who, I, you know, I said I'm going to make hamburger helper for dinner. This was a while ago. Um, and she was like, Ugh, I've never had hamburger helper. And uh, she like said it with like such disdain towards hamburger helper. And I was like, what do you mean? You've never had a hamburger helper. And she's like, ugh. My dad worked hard, so we didn't have to eat that stuff. And I was like, yeah, I know a lot of hardworking people that eat hamburger help. What are you talking about? I was like, you buy your own meat. Like, it's not like it's meat in a fucking can. You know what I mean? So, because of that, uh... I made the joke that like hamburger helper is just super American. It should just be called American helper. Uh, so yeah, it's American helper. And uh, that bitch is fucking crazy. Uh, so I can say that now because I don't work with her anymore. So fuck you, Reggie. Um, that's what I called her, Reggie. Her name wasn't Reggie, but I called her Reggie. Uh, robotic ass bitch. Anyways, um, so to make your hamburger helper, you get your ground beef, your pound of ground beef, you throw it in your hot skillet, you preheat your skillet, you throw your ground beef in there, and then you let that shit cook. You brown it until all the pink's gone. That's what you do. So yeah, American helper, baby. American helper. You guys come for the food and you stay for the experience. The stories and the laughs, you know? That's what we're all about here on Stoner Chef. Are you even really a Stoner Chef if you don't fuck with American helper? You know what I mean? Like, I don't think you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you're just not. You know what I mean? You're just not a Stoner Chef if you don't fuck with American Helper, you know? Even if you smoke weed and you don't fuck with American Helper, you're not a stoner chef. Go fuck yourself. That's what I say. American Helper is the fucking bomb. One pound, one pan, one tasty meal. One happy urge. You know? Or if you got a family, two pounds. You know what I mean? Give the kids like a little last plate and then you and uh, your wife or husband could have the rest. Fuck them kids. You know what I mean? What do they do? They don't do anything. They just leech off you. You know? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But for real, fuck them kids. They don't do shit. <laughs> I could say that because I don't have children. So fuck them kids. Well, that's probably why you don't have children, RJ. Because you keep saying, fuck them kids. Yeah, well, fuck them kids. I'll adopt and then I'll say, fuck that kid. You know what I mean? I saw this post on Facebook. It was like a meme. Uh, it was just like all these kids in class and there was a firefighter. And he was like, uh, what do you do when there's a fire? You stop, drop, and the, the one kid said, shut them down, open up, shop. <laughs> For the Rough Riders anthem. And I was like, yo, if I have a kid and they're ever put in this situation and they do not reply with the Rough Riders anthem, I'm putting them up for adoption. That's not my fucking kid. Fuck that kid. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> Honestly, no kid of mine ain't gonna fucking not reference the Rough Riders anthem 
when they're asked, do you stop and drop during a fire? You know what I mean? Uh-uh. All right, so it looks pretty browned over here. For your information, we're making the cheesy Italian shells. One three quarter cups hot water, one three quarter cups milk. Okay. So, you take it off of, you, you know, you turn the heat off right then you're going to want to get your strainer Pow. and you're going to want to carefully <coughs> strain let's see if i can get you guys to see this shit strainers in the sink there to see I don't think you could see the strainer maybe a little bit but you'll probably see my pan yeah then you carefully strain it to get all the excess grease out yeah just like them kids fuck that grease fuck that grease and fuck them kids it's my life motto All right. So, make sure it's drained. Shake it around in there a little bit. Return to the pan. Bow. Then, We gon' get our milk, we gon' get our milk, and we gon' do one and three quarter cups. One cup of milk. Three quarter cups of milk. Then you're gonna get your water, you're gonna do the same. One and three quarter cups of hot water, man. Rinse out the milk before you pour it in. I don't know why I'm talking like a fucking head. I ain't from the South. I don't like the Confederates. One and three quarters of hot water up in the bitch. Then you add your seasoning. If I could fucking open it. Oh, there we go. Now I'm for it was gumping it. Get it. Hold on. One moment, man. All right. Then I'm going to turn this on. Before I add the noodles, I'm gonna stir it around. That way, there's a little more room to stir because the noodles will take up some room. So I'll just stir it real quick without the noodles in there. Add the fucking noodles. Add the fucking noodles. Cook them till they're tender like a motherfucking poodle. What? I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore, guys. Don't mind me. Add the fucking noodles. I'm done. I'm done. Alright, 
we're gonna heat to a boiling. And then when it gets to a boil, we're gonna turn it down to a simmer and we're gonna cover it. Yeah, I know, kitty. And we're gonna stir occasionally until the pasta's tender for about 25 minutes, maybe. So once it starts boiling, I'm gonna put a lid on it. Gonna put a lid on it once it starts boiling. And uh, we'll be back soon. Hi. All right, so we just covered it up. So we're just gonna let it cook for about 20 minutes. We're gonna stir it around occasionally. All right, and we're gonna speed through this video here. And fast forward. Yo, so, I was just listening to this shit. You know that girl that did the gorilla glue to her hair? This fucking guy thought it was bullshit. So do you know what he did? He put gorilla glue on a red Solo cup on the edge and put it to his lips. Because he thought he could lick it off. Eh. Guess who ended up in the ER three hours later with a plastic solo cup stuck to his lip? And they had to rip his damn near whole lip off to get it off. Fucking morons. But people who smoke weed are stupid. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, yes. It is all good. It is done. American Helper is completed. Oh, fuck you, Reggie. Thanks for joining me for this episode, guys. Have a good one. Peace. And because I love cheese, of course I add a pound of Parmesan cheese and I am gonna snort it like an Italian Tony Montana. Not really, but yeah, cheese is life. Peace.